Hey everyone, I'm not Dan. I'm Aaron. And in this video, we're going to learn about limiting and excess reactants. It's... it's... Welcome back. So I'm here with my little dude here to explain to you the concept of limiting and excess reactants. So obviously the first question we need to deal with are just our definitions of what is a limiting reactant. Okay. So a limiting reactant is the reactant that limits or controls the reaction. When it runs out, the reaction stops, right? You're not going to make any more, um, any more product because that reactant is gone. So it limits or controls the reaction. And then the other reactant or reactants are called the excess reactants. And they're called excess because, well, they're in excess. There's too much of it. So when the reaction is finished, there's still some of those left over. Okay? So let's take a look at these ingredients that we have in front of us. All right, so Aaron, can you tell me um, what, what, kind of, what, what can we make with these ingredients here? <laughs> Can you remember? No. Okay, so so what, what do we have here? What is this? Peanut butter. And this is? Jelly. And these, this is? Bread. Alright, so if we put them all together, what could we make? Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Okay, so we got stuff here to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Um, now, if we were to make or use all of the peanut butter in, in this jar, right? This is a brand new jar. If we were to use all of this peanut butter, Aaron, about how many sandwiches do you think we could make? 40. About 40? You think we can make about 40 sandwiches? I don't know. Yeah, that's a pretty good guess. Okay. How about the, the jelly? This is a brand new jar of jelly. Um, if we use all of this jelly to make sandwiches, how about how many sandwiches do you think we could make? 15. 15. All right, that's a pretty good guess. So we could probably make 40 sandwiches based on the peanut butter and about 15 sandwiches based on the jelly. Okay, but what about the bread? How many slices of bread do we have over here? Two. There were, how, how many slices of bread? Four. There are four slices of bread. So how many sandwiches could we make? Two. Right, we could only make two sandwiches. So if we were to actually use all of these ingredients in total, what is the maximum number of sandwiches that we could make? Two. Right, we could only make two because the bread would run out first, right? Right, so that means that the bread here is our limiting reactant. And would we still have peanut butter and jelly left over? Yeah. Yeah, we would. So that means that our peanut butter and jelly are our excess reactants. Okay? So now in the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually identify the limiting and excess reactant based on any equation, regardless of whatever it is that, that's given to you. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope that that was helpful for you and helped you learn a little bit more about chemistry. Um, if you have any further questions, please be sure to comment below or you can send me an email to chemistrytalk at gmail.com. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button so you can get updates on all the new videos that we're making here. All right, so thank you guys so much. Remember, I'm not Dan and neither are you. Check you later. So can you wave bye-bye? Bye. <laughs>